What is up, my mullet sharp here, and today, or tonight, whatever it is, we're going to be doing a new series on my channel where I ask everyone in the house a couple words off Urban Dictionary, and I see what they think it is, and then I tell them what it really is. So today, in this first episode, we're going to bring Nameless on. Are Should you be, ready? Should be a great time. Should be a great time. Wake up, bitch. It's good. It's time for another video. It's gonna be a good time. All right. State your name. State your business. I am in the industry of thumb twiddling, and my name is Obadiah. All right, Obadiah. How's it going? AKA Anthony Wheeler, AKA Nameless, part of Team Caliber, and today we're gonna ask you some questions. Oh, here it goes. What pretty, pretty simple question. I know, I know. A lot of people think about Urban Dictionary. They think it's all a bunch of dirty shit. Not all of this. Some of it's dirty shit. Not all of it's dirty shit. So, what do you think a Panamanian petting zoo is? Panamanian. What? It's got to be like I don't know where you pet a bunch of like. I don't, know, are you, I don't know, like, what do you, you gotta pet up, it's so dirty, like, I don't want to answer it in a weird way. Like. It's also known as a Kentucky Klondike bar. <laughs> That's why oh, I picked it. Panamanian Petting Zoo, uh, Kentucky, I don't know, it kind of sounds like incest, some with incest. <clears throat> well, here's the Urban Dictionary definition. It has nothing to do with incest, it's when you force one's partner to pick the nuts and corn out of a bowel movement. The partner then presents the nuts and corn in a cup or dish one then tosses the nuts and corn in the bed where the partner eats it like a goat or other typical petting zoo animal. What? <laughs> How did you find that? I don't know. All right, next word. All right. Be prepared. Be prepared. You're from Chicago. What's a Chicago waffle? <laughs> I don't I have no idea. Are the bullets in it? No. Nope. A bullet waffle? No. Nope. I don't know. Well, what's <laughs> The act of shitting on a keyboard of a laptop and then closing the lid. Why is that a Chicago waffle? Why does that have to be from Chicago? Want me to use it in a sentence? Hey Shelby, how was that Chicago waffle the other day? <laughs> Shelby got her shit fucked. <laughs> Dude, I would be furious. <laughs> Why is that from Chicago? Peggy gives you a Chicago waffle. Oh, you'd going? be getting knocked out instantly, dude. <laughs> Alright, next word. The 300. The 300. The 300. The 300. No clue. I literally, I'm drawing complete blank. It was like the 300 times you jerk off before like, I don't, know, I don't even know where I'm going with that. The 300. When you've just finished having sex. I was close. You make sure your naked partner is at the end of the bed near the feet. Then yell. This is Sparta! I, I knew that one, you kick her off the bed. And kick her off the yes, bed. Yes, I knew that one. Never mind, I knew that one. You tried to get me, but I knew it. Dude, I totally pulled the 300 on my girlfriend and she hit the ground hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, man. You, you got some cabbage ass going on. <laughs> what do you think this is? Cabbage ass. Cellulite in your ass? <laughs> Nowhere near close. The condition of having gas that leaves your ass wet. Having to wipe after every fart. Oh, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm hungover. I got some cabbage ass. <laughs> but I've never heard that. That's called swass. Sweaty ass or like... Is that a new term? I guess. I don't know. It doesn't have any I'm other... I'm going to have to add that to my, uh, my dictionary. Well, though. you got some cabbage ass, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh... What do you think it means when someone is Rosetta stoned? Rosetta stone. They're stoned to the point where they just can't even read. That's actually really close. One, one who gets so high that he or she begins to speak a foreign language. Wow. That is Rosetta <laughs> stoned. Beth got so Rosetta stoned last night, she could effectively communicate with the cab driver. <laughs> That's fucking racist. That terrible. <laughs> Hey, this is a straight off Urban Dictionary. This is not Sharp. <laughs> no, Sharp sick in his mind sickly created all these and he entered all of them. All right. I watched it. Last one. What do you think the Cosby sweater is? Oh, dude. That's fucked up. That's messed up, man. 
you think it's messed up. <laughs> it, reading it, it is kind of messed up. The Cosby sweater. I don't know, did he piss all over a sweater and make a little girl wear it or something? <laughs> no. The act of eating Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, and Booberry, or any other bright, colorful breakfast cereals, and then vomiting the tacky, dazzling mixture onto your partner's chest, the result should look similar to an incredible... The incredible sweaters that Bill Cosby wore during his highly successful 1980 sitcom, The Cosby Show. I'm done with this, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nicole was overjoyed to receive a Cosby <laughs> sweater for her birthday. <laughs> Worst birthday ever. Alright, man. Cosby sweater. This, this is messed up, dude. <laughs> that does not sound like something that would have to do with cereal at all. All right, what do you think of Osama Bin Laden is? Osama Bin Laden. Oh yeah, when your friend is hiding and you don't know where the hell he is, and yeah, he hasn't come out to chill in a while. <laughs> I already told you this one. <laughs> Wanted to see if you remember. <laughs> yes, I remember. A best friend that you never see, he's always hiding or just at home. All right. Mike, hey, where's Joey at? Daniel, I don't know, man. He's being a real Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> What the fuck says that? <laughs> Alright, well that has been episode one of Urban Dictionary Questions. How was it? Uh, it was weird, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking weird. Some weird ass shit. Alright. <laughs> well, if you guys are not already, be sure to subscribe to Nameless. Channel in. OG Nameless. OG Nameless. It'll be down in the description. I'll put an annotation on the screen. Such a uh, nice guy. Follow him on Twitter, all that good shit. But yeah, go check out his stuff. And thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you're not already subscribed. And we are out of here. And don't be a bro Osama Bin Laden. Say what's up at the next event. Yeah, man. Fucking bro Osama Bin Laden's, <laughs> man. <laughs>